revealed to her they were not related by blood. Even so, the young lady's love for her parents was unfaltering. Following in the footsteps of her father, she devoted her life to alchemy and eventually found herself faced with the truth about Soul Edge. This can't be Soul Edge. This evil thing, this is what drove my father to madness? Soul Edge, such a thing does not belong in this world. On my family's name, I vow to destroy it by my own hands. If Soul Edge is indeed the strongest weapon of all, I shall need to obtain an even stronger weapon with which to destroy it. I know exactly what I need. A shape-shifting blade, both sword and whip, that obeys my will. That is the answer. But how? Damn, I refuse to give up! What in the world? I, Cross of the Pledge, shall confer upon thee the point in the escutcheon of destruction, Dexter Perpure. It's alive! Did I succeed? Yes, Dexter Perpure. Wait, who are you? The time will come. It is inevitable. Just you wait, Soul Edge. With this sword, all shall be carved to pieces. who's searching for Soul Edge. What if I am? Who are you to insult the Sword of Salvation? The Sword of Salvation? <laughs> Aren't you adorable? Let me give you some advice. If you really know nothing, then it's best you turn back now, little girl. Don't treat me like a child! Let's see how your sword fares against me. Enjoy this! Uh, 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 
More fighting will only end in the same result. You're too weak. Farewell. Hey! Get back here! So, I'm not the only one looking for Soul Edge. Impetuous fool! Soul harvesting? Don't make me laugh. I can't... give up! Hmm. Enough for now. Does it matter? There are plenty of them. And resurrection requires many more. Even so, you should show restraint. I am not here to assist you in a massacre.
alchemists have strived to achieve resurrection, but to no avail. All this is to bring your father back, but could it all really be so simple? His words have no ring of truth to them. More souls! I must have more souls! Why does that fiend have such an unquenchable thirst? I'm done. I cannot go on like this. I'm fed up with your methods. It's as simple as that. And I have my own purpose. Your own purpose? You fool. The soul edge you search for has been in front of you all this time. While I admit his sword does emanate an unusual aura, it would be pointless for him to keep me so close. He knows I seek to destroy soul edge. So naive. <laughs> I suggest you wipe that smile off your face. Or would you prefer me to wipe it off for you? Exum wench! You'll see. As of right now, you're on my list of souls to harvest! Running away? 
<laughs> I have more important fish to fry. Don't worry, your turn will come. Don't you walk away from me. Tell me what you know. Nightmare. Soul Edge? Why? I wouldn't if I were you. You can't win in your present state. Out of my way! I don't care who you are, but perhaps you could share with me what you know. This blade contains a fragment of Soul Edge. It is reacting violently to your weapon. And to you. You seek the truth, but perhaps you already know it. Daughter of the Cursed Sword. No! That's not possible! You have strength. Strength that comes from evil. Get away from me! It's up to you whether you believe me or not. But I've fought one who wielded the cursed sword before. Do not take me for a fool. That eldritch aura that envelops you. If I closed my eyes, I'd believe it was Cervantes himself. Think, who is your real father? You're lying! So long. I refuse to believe it until I see it for myself. Nightmare, damn you!
I never crossed paths with Nightmare. It appears someone defeated the Azure Knight. As for what happened to Soul Edge, I know not. It's possible the one who vanquished Nightmare has it. Or it could have been destroyed. Still, I feel it. A terrible evil calls out to me from somewhere in the world. Yes, I have accepted my fate. I am daughter to the Cursed Sword, the heir of an accursed lineage. So I have made a vow. A vow to obliterate the Cursed Sword and rid my own blade of evil. That is the sole purpose for which I now live. The names of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched